what will you say are some of the wrong notions we in the church have about mental health and mental illnesses in general? Wrong notions, I'll bring it down to one word, stigma. Period, stigma. Stigma results from the attitudes, the beliefs we hold about mental illness burn largely out of incorrect information. Mm. I'll give you one good example, and I suffered a lot from this in medical school. I belonged to a church where we were the word, the word, the word, the word, the word. If you're a Christian, you can never be depressed in your life. So I believe. If you're a Christian, you can never be afraid in your life. If you've got the spirit of God within you, you can never have any mental health challenges. As a matter of fact, I was told back then in fellowship, you can't be a psychiatrist and be a good Christian. Wow. And I like challenges. I like being dead. And I said, okay, <laughs> let's wait and see. I'm going to be one. So a lot of misinformation fuels Christians' attitudes to mental health. And I'll shock you. A lot of us in the past, maybe not anymore, used to pray, God, give me a double portion of the spirit of Elijah. You have no idea who Elijah was. Are you aware Elijah was depressed? Yes, he was. He said, I am not better than my father's. Kill me. Kukuma, kill me. He was suicidal. And he was a prophet. Christ Jesus, do you know Jesus said, my soul is sorrowful even unto death. What's that? Anguish, sorrow. That's Jesus. And David, the man after God's heart, read the book of Psalms. Why, O oh, my soul, are thou downcast? It's written there in the Bible. 